Not all magic comes from books or blood. Sometimes you just need to make a bargain with an otherworldly being. And whether your spells are fueled by a creature of fairy legend, a fiend from the nine hells, or an eldritch alien from beyond time and space, Handbook or Helper is here with the pointers you need to keep that pact strong. Here is your Warlock quick build for 5th edition a d and Don't know how to play? We'll, we'll show, show you the way. way. Handbook. 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 Her helper. Handbook or Helper. Now, unlike wizards who learn their arcane secrets through grimoires and sorcerers who tap into the raw magic of the multiverse using their ancient bloodlines, warlocks are powered by a pact with an otherworldly patron. What form that patron takes is totally up to you, but there are three primary choices in the player's handbook. The Archfey, the Fiend, and the Great Old One. Each type of otherworldly patron provides its own brand of benefits, including an expanded spell list and different class abilities starting at 1st, then 6th, 10th, and 14th levels. Playing in an Arthurian world of high fantasy? Maybe Archfey is what you're looking for. Going for a darker struggle between the forces of evil and the implications of power gained from such beings? Well, perhaps a fiend is the proper choice. And if you're weaving a tale of Lovecraftian horror, the Great Old One is probably the patron for you. Whether you go with the grain or against it, Warlock patrons offer players one of the most versatile storytelling tools in the game. In addition to an otherworldly patron, Warlocks haha, benefit from Pact Magic, which really kicks in at third level with a few special class features. You got Pact of the Chain, which boosts your ability to summon and interact with your familiar. Pact of the Blade graces you with a magical weapon that you can summon and dismiss at will. And Pact of the Tome gives you a bonus grimoire the Book of Shadows, which you can use to cast three cantrips from any spell list at will. And yeah, yeah, it is as cool as it sounds. Trust me, cantrips are your friend. When it comes to warlocks and ability scores, charisma, charisma, charisma is queen. Not only is charisma the key spell casting ability for warlock spells, you'll need all the charm and eloquence you can muster for the inevitable deception and persuasion checks that are coming your way when you try and pull one over on your patron. A high constitution score can also come in handy for warlocks who are essentially martial spell casters at heart. And it goes without saying that all of your eldritch spell slinging and subsequent interactions with supernatural entities could benefit from a respectable amount of wisdom. Furthermore, with proficiency in wisdom and charisma saving throws, warlocks are designed to withstand a healthy amount of magical assault. The warlock spell list is a little shorter compared to the other classes, but it packs a punch. So before you start plotting your epic progression, Take a look at the expanded spell list from your otherworldly patron and fill in the blanks. Okay, for instance, first level spells, Charm Person, and Witch Bolt are popular favorites. And the Eldritch Blast and Chill Touch cantrips are always good to have handy. Just remember that you'll be mixing it up on the front lines from time to time, so invoke accordingly. So there you have it, your Warlock quick build for 5th edition D&D, packed <laughs> full of pointers for your next foray into strange aeons and far off realms. Just don't forget to praise your patron on the way out. And careful with those spell slots, you don't get a lot of them. So, cantrips, mwah, they're your friend. Enjoy! Uh, hellish Rebuke! Handbook! 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 Handbook!